most. They are the ones that watch you most. Give them drama. Give them movies. And keep living your life. Woo! If I block you, I lose God. If I block you, I fuck up. Now, this is film, you know, call wash on. You must wash on. You must wash on. Yes, now. Nah. As the form say, you be monitoring spirit. See, I go use updates. Long, long one. Long, long one. Do I make long, make get sunny? Long, long updates. You go long, and yeah, you go for your long, go you should go so deep. You go for your long, go you should have a. You never know, see some change. You see some change, you bugger. If Messi and my mind, if Messi and my mind, my mind tastes better like this. Mess my mouth, put her for egg, bring her white egg. You don't know where the white egg will come out. We just see that for messy egg. It just seems. Welcome back. Now, social media is divided. Yes. There are some people who are rooting for Mercy Johnson. Mercy Johnson has been in the industry for a while and she interprets her role well. But you know the thing about liking someone. It gets to a point you don't even see the flaw. You don't see this, the, the shortcoming. You don't see nothing wrong with that person. That's how life is. The more you are closer, at times, the more you see the lacuna. At times, the farther you are away, the more you see what surrounds that person and what that person is doing. It depends on your view and your ability. Now, this lady came out. She said that she is Mercy Johnson's childhood friend. And that is not debatable. As you can see right there, that is actually Mercy Johnson's childhood friend. As far back as when they were teenagers, as far back as when they were 16, 17, 18. So this is someone that knows Mercy Johnson. But there is something about the old thing that is mysterious. But we are going to take it one after the other. You heard Mercy Johnson. I knew this was going to be the response of Mercy Johnson. Mercy Johnson is not going to come out to address it properly. She's going to address it in a comical way. And that's what she did. But this lady is particular about it. She said, do you know how many prayer houses I went to? She said, do you know what I did to get myself back now? It took her a lot of years. Mercy Johnson is around 38 years. I think she's 38 years old. So this lady will also be around the same range. 36, 37, 38, 39. In between that age range she did not succeed she didn't succeed mercy johnson succeeded now let's look at it this way i'm in fact i'm going to present it in three ways to be fair and balanced one let us assume two friends they are both running a race wishing for something in this case to be in what they call um, back then, it wasn't Nollywood, but let us keep that Nollywood as the industry. They wanted to be actress. Both of them wanted to be actress. And, you know, it's a competition. You try to get yourself into it. You hope that one day, if you go for the role, you will be selected. You do what you can do. Both of you might be excellent. And it might be that one person is better than the other person in that particular role. Maybe you just don't fit into that role. But this other individual fits into that role. Or there is something working for her. It could be that she sacrificed a little that you did not know that she... Maybe she had to now lay with one of the directors for the audition. Or someone that helped her. It could be that she's just lucky for that role. She fitted into that role perfectly. And not you. Maybe you were downcasted about it. You couldn't press further. It could be anything. So what I'm saying is this. One person got lucky or one person is better than the other. So um, the person progressed in it. Or that journey was actually the journey destined for that person. That's on one side. The other side is this. Both of you are gunning, pushing, pressing for a particular position. You are better than the other person. That person is so stressed about it. Maybe she had discussed it with her parents or with someone like, hey, me and my friend, we do go for something. It's like, I don't have luck. She's always getting it. And it's why I see she's better than me. Really? So what's going on? All right. Let us see what we can do. That is where 
transference, transferring, manipulating of someone's luck. So her luck has been transferred. In this case, this lady said, my luck was transferred to Mercy Johnson. How was it done? She said, Mercy Johnson had told me, look, with this thing that is happening to me, you, okay, maybe you are getting a little role here and there, but it's like, we, uh, this thing is not like, how can we go for an audition and we go, there are names are not on the list for those that will be featuring in the movie. What exactly is going on? Mercy Johnson had suggested to her, look, let us get this done this way. In fact, let us listen to what she said. So one day, we were at home. So we're coming from October. That day, we're so tired. You know when you go for audition now, you don't go see your name for God, stuff like that. We come tired. We come there. She now said, what if she tell her mother to do some work for her so we'll enter Nollywood? That day, it was not Nollywood. It was AGN. It was AGN. And then, I was going to my house. I was going to my house. Her mom, she now said her mom is calling me. My mom wants to see me. I was to her house. She now said, no, her mom is calling me. My mom wants to see me. So I now followed her to go and see her mom. So when I got there, her now knelt down. Me and her knelt down. Uh, what, the, you know, if you enter Mrs. Mom, the house alone, eh? in, in the room, one room, like chamber, Mama used to do chamber. Like, which in the room, eh, you see skeletons, you know, all those skeletons. So when you enter the side, so, so when we got there, I'm just telling you, if you enter there, you know, someone will be always say, Mama, they call you. When I enter there that day, eh, he come be as if say, like, breeze, bro, like, he come be as if say, okay, any they want to, no problem, I go, I go, agree. So her mom now said we should kneel down. We now kneel down. Mercy now kneel down. Her mom now told me to pull my clothes. Come, come tell me, Mercy, make Mercy pull her clothes. Too. Come carry the clothes. Come, because get us in room be demarcated like this. Come carry the clothes. Enter inside room. After she carry the clothes, enter inside room. She come carry the clothes. Come out back. When she come carry the clothes, come out back. She come carry Mercy home. And they're like, in this name. She come carry Mercy home. Where me? I tell it down there. I don't know yet. Is how many days? Um, she can't carry my, she, my, my mom can't come out. As I can't come out, she can't carry clothes. The clothes, my own clothes, where I give mercy. She can't carry mercy clothes, where I give me. So as she can't let the thing give me, you can't make her come down like this. I can't like, say everything. Anybody where this situation they talk now, don't worry now. It got too so, so to you, you go no truth. You hear me? On a good, you hear me? As we need them, when I'm watching. Welcome back. Did you hear what she said? That Mercy Johnson's mother had given them something to drink. Mercy Johnson's mother had given her the clothes or the dress of Mercy Johnson and gave Mercy Johnson her own clothes. A lot of things were done and she started realizing strange things happening to her that her luck disappeared. That she had gone to churches prayed went for deliverance and she just must speak about it if you listen to what she's saying she's saying that mercy johnson should be dragged to church that mercy johnson needs to be delivered by force that this is not what mercy johnson is that it is that 
uh, mother or uh, that transfer that evil spirit to her. A lot of people have asked question, is it the same woman from Cameroon? No, I don't think so. It's not the same woman. It is the stepmother of Mercy Johnson. The woman that Mercy Johnson's father married after Mercy Johnson's mother left to Cameroon, according to her stories. According to this lady, she said that the great-grandmother, meaning the mother of that woman, is one that transferred the... Um, you know, she's more like a, a priestess. So she had done the spiritual manipulation of everything. Now, Mercy Johnson will not come out to challenge this directly, like I told you guys. She's not going to come out to directly challenge this or address it. If Mercy Johnson did not address her own mother before the eventual, I think, RIP of the woman, I think the woman passed away. If Mercy Johnson did not address it publicly, which we... I'm not saying she should, but if she thinks her fans are important and she needs to address it as a business, Mercy Johnson will not address this one. You know, things that are like in this form cannot be proven. You can't prove that someone has done something to you spiritually. You can only deal with it spiritually. You can only cut that person to a spiritual court. You cannot do it physically. It's not possible for you to address it that way. So, um, this Mercy Johnson's thing and this lady's thing is like uh, a little bit uh, um, kind of um, not clear. But you see, people said that uh, this lady is just cloud chasing. People said that her destiny, her glory is not shining. So she wants to use that of Mercy Johnson. And they said that uh, she is a failure and that things didn't work for her. So she decided to use this as a way of bouncing back. And she decided to pitch tent with uh, Angela Okore, uh, being that Angela Okore has some vendetta for uh, Mercy Johnson. But Angela Okore said that that lady, this lady had called and told her, look, Mercy Johnson has attacked you spiritually. She's the one that sent this madness. This is what I know about her. The thing is this, there are certain friends that we know from childhood. You might have that experience. Either they are possessed with some spirits or they have parents or they are the types that go visit all of these spiritual people babala Dibia, marabu and uh, all of that uh, to get some charms muti do some bewitch people and you, you know such people if you know them whilst growing up definitely you always think and believe that this is what they are still doing till today that is it you will believe that this is what they do that's it. So, if it is not that Mercy Johnson is better than her, that is why, and then it's also the destiny of Mercy Johnson, um, then it could be that truly there, there was a swap, spiritual swap, like a kind of swap. It is possible these things happen. It happens. So, we cannot rule out that part of it that, oh, it's not true. We cannot always embrace successful people, rich people, famous people, and forget about what they probably could have done to get to that point. We can't. It's, it's, it lacks wisdom to just say, ah, it's not true. It can't be. It can't be just because we, are, we, we, we like Mercy Johnson. Liking someone does not mean that they don't have dirt. You see, there is this thing about a lot of people nowadays they tend to uh, idolize their star. They tend to idolize their star. It's more or less like if you are successful, if you are rich, all your sins are forgiven. It doesn't matter how you got it, how you got there, if you trampled on other people's toes. and It doesn't matter to them. They just embrace it. But now I'm not saying that is the third part. You see, they say when you're on top, when you're on top, the wind is strong meaning when you're on top you become the topic people will talk about you they will try to drag you down the wind on top is strong opposition here and there someone will just jump out of your past and begin to label you this label you that we know him now we know him he used to come to our house to eat and it's not like he went to the house to beg for food no 
Maybe you just visited once or twice, they offered you something, and because you don't want to make them, you know, you don't want to make it appear like... And they will say they are the one that fed you. So we should also co consider that part too, that this lady might just be doing all of this because she has looked at herself, looked at her life, looked at the journey so far, and realized that Mr. Johnson had abandoned her, or whatever it is. Mr. Johnson had continued in what she's doing, and Mr. Johnson had kind of cut off from her when Mr. Johnson realized that, look, I'm the one they are giving this thing. I'm the one things, good things are happening to. If I continue with this lady, envy, or maybe she has been warned, it could be, and she decided to desist. And now this guy is coming with, this lady is coming with stories. It could be, and it could also be that Mercy Johnson's stepmother had done this wrong thing. And probably initiated Mercy Johnson too, done this evil thing to this lady. She said it took her a long time, a lot of prayers, for her to get back what has been stolen. But the thing about getting back your glory also has to do with time. That is if you, you even got it all. Getting back what has been stolen from you. I'll, I'll give you an example. Imagine if you are to um, shine using a particular technology. And that technology is no longer, let's say it's 3310. You were supposed to shine from 3310 and the Nokia phone and those uh, Samsung blue eye, true eye. You were supposed to shine with that. And then maybe ascend, upgrade to the latest Android phones and smartphones with all the... But the glory or ability that was deposited in you at that time someone had hijacked it from you you didn't have access to it probably you were imprisoned and now you are out at this time and age yes you might be able to kind of connect yourself back in line because it's your it's your journey it's your it's but time is of the essence time is gone you now begin to like start all over, like begin to get to know how Android works and uh, maybe do something with it and all of that. <laughs> but you should have started earlier. So time is also important for people who are saying, hey, what did you use your glory for? She said, it has been swapped. What did you use your luck and destiny for? She said, it has been swapped. As was adulterated, they did something, they robbed her. Yes, they are a spiritual criminal. Same way as we have it in the physical. That's the same way it is. We have spiritual criminals. They can rob you spiritually. If you believe, now for those who say, oh, it's not true. If you believe that someone can take something from your body part, <laughs> then you should be able to believe that they did not take it physically by medical means, by incision, cutting, or dissecting. Yes, whatever thing that you believe spiritually, also believe that there are spiritual arm robbers. Yes, there are spiritual arm robbers. And there are spiritual scammers. So she was scammed. And the end result is still robbery. She was scammed. If it really happened as she said. Now it takes a long time for you to get back what has been stolen. And even when you get it back, it might not be in the same form and shape. And also when you get it back, it might not have value as what it should have been in years back that's what i'm trying to say so now she's back just look at the number of years if she had been in that industry to do what she's supposed to do you will just see that bad luck she made mention of the amount of bad luck bad luck bad luck bad luck a lot of it a lot of bad luck she said she knows banky w a musician and politician she knew her, he knew the guy then many people that she he said all of a sudden she called don jazzy don jazzy saw her and he said hey don jazzy hey and don jazzy said sorry who are you i don't know you she said she was flag back she was taking her back she was like what what's happening meaning anyone everyone that she, that would have changed her life people that would have turned things around in her life everybody deserted her all of a sudden, she started observing that Mercy Johnson was climbing the ladder swiftly, moving. Yes, it is true that your own star can be used. Your destiny can be used for someone else. It is true, just like our parents can take toys off from another child and give it to their own. It's the same way. Believe it or not, it happens. 
So we cannot just throw away what this lady has said like that. Even if, it's, if she's lying, let us learn from it. If you have friends or you have a friend and both of you are on the same journey, chasing the same thing, be careful. Don't go and eat in that friend's house. Be, be careful. Use this as a lesson. Tell your children these things. Learn from it too. You are battling something. Both of you are ru running on a, you're on a race. Be careful. Let this be an example.